Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Velocity Gaming and today we are playing FTL Faster Than Light, the game that has frustrated everyone over the years. It's if you've not played it before, basically it's a sort of a spaceship simulation kind of game. If that makes sense, basically you control a spaceship. You have to make sure you don't die. Basically. So I'm gonna Oops. Wait. Oh, why is the tutorial on? Okay, so First we have to pick a ship. Um, so we've got different types of ships. Obviously I've not unlocked every every type of ship, but I've unlocked most of them. So now it's a choice of of which to pick. So you've got the Kestrel, which is the one you start with. NG Cruiser, which it relies more on sort of drones and stuff. Stealth Cruiser, uh, cloaking technology and speed. Uh, that's for sort of slugs, which is a type of aliens which had their have their own sort of I guess it's kind of like psychic ability, I guess. Um, Zoltan Cruiser, advanced t the shield technologies, and the Lanius. Um, I don't think I've actually played as the Lanius. What's that like? Oh, okay. Uh, apparently I can't. Let's just play as the standard ship for now so I can give you sort of the an introduction to the game. Um... Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. Um, no, let's do it on normal. We have... Let's give them some names. When the game stops lagging. No game, don't do this to me. Okay, there we go. We'll call him... Uh, Bill. He will be... Uh, Bob. Oops. Bill. Bob. And Barry, because we like some good alien names on this on this spaceship. Okay, we'll just start. Okay, the data you carry is vital to the remain remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. You get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet catch can catch up. The score is based on how many ships you defeat. Oh, blah blah blah. Don't need tips. Okay, so this is my spaceship. So basically, you need to choose who's doing what. So, I'm going to have... None of them have any uh, skills to start with. So, they I'm going to be able to sort of develop them on my own. Um, oh, you can save positions now. Okay, it's been updated a bit since I've played. So, oops, no, you're going to stick on weapons. Um, so, Bill is my driver. Bob will be... No, Bob Barry can go in shields. Um, oops, okay. So you can obviously select how much power you have for your different systems. You can also upgrade your ship if you have uh, if you have the tools to, which I don't at the moment. So we'll just jump straight on. Um, let's go this way. So basically you jump from area to area to see what you find. Detect two ships, one chasing the other. Scanner show the pursuer is a pirate. Aid the civilian ship. Power up your weapon. Okay. Um, oops. Let's just pause it while I remember how to actually play this game. I take one off there. All of them on shields. Um, we'll use the burst laser on the shields and not use the Artemis yet because I don't have any. I don't know how many bombs I've got. I've, oh, I've got eight missiles. So I guess I could use one. But oh dear. Oh dear. This has gone horribly wrong already. But we've taken out their shields. Uh, Bob, get, in, get get us some oxygen back, please. So we've taken out... Okay, that was easy. Uh, we'll just get... Parachute brace spot. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. So we've got some stuff from there. Okay, so the civilian ship just ran away. Without thanking me. So clearly, you know, in combat, it's very simple. It's a to not exactly turn-based. It's real time, but you know, you select what you're going to do. You fire. You, if anything gets damaged, you need to get your people to repair it. You know the kind of drill. I think everyone's played this game by now. I don't really need to explain it too much. It's and if you haven't played it, definitely recommend playing it. It's a fun little game. Jump into an unremarkable system. No life signs detected within scanning range. That's fantastic. There's a store there, but I don't really have anything to, to 
buy it with buy stuff with oops ship hails you good sir it seems you're having some troubles with the rebels i'd like to help you but i can't afford the upkeep required on this hunk of junk i'm flying maybe we can come to an arrangement hire the mercenary to delay the rebels and the mercenary to scout the sector hey he's a pirate we don't like pirates burst laser on the shields won't bother with the artemis for now because we 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 don't really want to use all our missiles. Although we've got, uh, I've said that last time, didn't I? All right, they've hardly got any. Oh, okay, they've got a laser. Take out the weapons. Take out the weapons. That was painful. Oops, I just turned it off by accident. Oops, what am I doing? Fire! 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 But luckily now they can't. Okay, they might be able to fire one weapon. Show us honour by allowing us to leave with our lives. Uh, we'll not accept surrender. Sorry. Not in a forgiving mood right now. Oh, okay. I completely didn't realise the oxygen was down. Go fix it. Fix it, Mort. Okay, the pirate's down. But we've got to fix the oxygen before we all die. So, kind of... When you've got more people, I'll be able to keep someone in oxygen permanently. Um, but for now, kind of, Bob's going to be my my sort of the rear of the engine. So if anything here gets damaged, uh, and Barry will have this section, and Bill will just will just pilot. He's not good for much else. We'll jump to there, see if we can get a bit more, a few more parts to trade with. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to your beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your journey. Um, that's a big ship, but we have missiles and I'll, I'll, I'll use them. Oh, they've got a teleport. Oh, they've got a teleport. Oh, they've got a teleport. Oh, no. Run, Barry, run. Try and starve him of ox... Oops. Try and starve him of oxygen. Uh, burst laser. Artemis, take out the weapons. No, Bill, get out of there. Uh, Artemis on, on, on shields again. I'm just trying to flood, flood all the oxygen so he, he, he... He's trying to escape. Won't have any of that business. Come on, die. Why aren't you dying? Die faster. Come on, come on, fire before they run. Fire before they run. Got him. But we are in quite serious trouble. Oops, don't, don't open all the doors. Close the doors. Right, get everyone. Do a rotation method. Come on, we can kill him. Come on, we can kill him. Yeah. Okay, that was, that was terrible. I'm not the best at this game, but I really enjoy it anyway. Let's make sure everyone's healing up. Right, um, Bill, back to the front. Um, we'll get Barry and Bob to fix the weapons so we can get out of here quickly. And then Barry back on shields and Bob back on the engines. Right, we'll jump to the store now. See if we can buy anything useful. Uh, we have plenty of fuel. None of that's. I mean, I, I would love to have like drone control and crew teleporter, but right now it's not the most useful. Um, and there's no. Pleasure your hull every time you collect scrap. Yeah. That'd be useful. Because obviously, in the long term, it means more. Yeah, we'll buy that. Because in the long term, it just means more um, stuff. Essentially, is the word I'm looking for. I'll right, we'll jump to the unvisited one and then the distress signal. Uh, okay, this is basically the same thing. But they haven't got a crew teleporter. That's good. One off engines, one back on weapons. I'm gonna basically take try and take out their weapons first. 
First laser. Oh, you missed. Are you kidding me? Don't miss. Right, same again. Don't miss. Thank you. Weapons. One of the weapons is down. Take out the shields. Go for the engines. I think someone's in shields now, so we'll actually fire there and see if we can kill the crew. Will not accept surrender. You fools. Okay. Alright, we're going to stop using the missiles because I want to actually have some later on. We definitely need more shields, though. There we go. Ooh, okay, that was quite lucky. Alright, we'll see if we can... Actually, we're going to get another power bar. It just means that we can have a bit more so we can have everything on at once. At once? My voice cracked, I'm sorry about that. Oops, what are you doing? Um, okay, so we'll jump to the distress signal. I hope this isn't some kind of trap. We've encountered a refuge ship, refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as, as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. Hail them! Oh, okay. That's not good. Alright, we'll use some missiles. Uh, Barry, go go and fix 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 health fix health. Oh, they're gonna get their weapons back up. That's not good. Luckily, they've only got the ion beam. Oh, it missed anyway. But they only had the ion beam, so all they could do was take out my shields. Ah, gave us some supplies. That's nice of them. Okay, the rebels are getting quite close now, so we're going to have to leave the system quick. Basically, you don't want them to catch up with you, because then you have to fight the rebel ships. Uh, yeah, we can take that. Probably, he says. Is that a laser? Oh, please don't say that's a laser. Please don't say that's a laser. I don't want lasers. How did our missile not go through the shield? I thought they were kind of designed to go through shields. Okay, that was painful. Don't miss, you flipping useless. So they're taking out our door control, which isn't really an issue since they don't have anyone to, to board us. Shields are slightly down. Hopefully they should finish them off. Yeah. Easy. EZ. Uh, ship. Crew. No. Equipment. No. Nothing we can do there. Um, can upgrade our, like, our shields and stuff, but... I'm going to need more power first. There we go. Requires system upgrade. I can't remember how to do that. Um. Oh, so you just okay? You need to get all the bars full. Okay, never mind. All right, so we'll jump. Uh, we'll probably have time to go here. He says, unconfidently. Hey, the civilian ship. Okay, that's oh, it's drones and stuff. Um, we'll go for weapons. Shields. That drone's gonna be a real pain if. Okay, good. The AI because it's got a laser drone. Basically, drones are really, really quite useful if you've got the power for them. You can have drones that either repair your ships or damage the other ships, and they're just a good way that means you can focus on specific targets while they just do general damage, which is really useful. Hit the engines to finish with. So this is a kind of. What's so interesting about this game is that every ship has its advantages and disadvantages. So this is you can leave your basic, it's a good all rounder, but it's vulnerable to certain things. Well it's vulnerable to a lot of things actually. Um it's only 30 to get the shields, okay. Right, we'll just 
exit for now. Got plenty of fuel as well, which is nice. Okay. Attack the slaver scum. And they're going to teleport across. Of course they are. Okay, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, get everyone as far forward as possible. And then we're going to flood the back of the ship. With no oxygen. Run, run, run before you die. Right, Artemis, attack the shields. Okay, I only have the Artemis now, unless it... Okay, good, I can power up the... Oh, he went through there. Of course he did. Attack the weapons. Right, close all doors. Attack the crew teleports. This hasn't gone well. Okay, we need the ox... Oh, the oxygen's broke. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're in serious trouble now. We're going to have to get literally everyone to... Oh dear. This is not good. Alright, we'll, fi we'll finish them up first. Um, I'm going to have to run them back there to fix the oxygen. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I can't even use the medibay. That's the worst thing. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Run, 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 run. Don't die. Don't... Don't you even think about dying. Oh, phew. Oh, that was too close. So, yeah, that's the danger of flooding your, your ship without, without oxygen. Is that you can absolutely uh, ruin yourself if they manage to damage it. Especially in this ship, because the oxygen's right back there. But it's an effective way to deal with intruders. Barry back on shields, Bob back on engines, and we can upgrade our shields, which is vitally important, <laughs> as you just saw, because they kept managing to get damage on. So now we've got two layers of shields. So basically that means that we can take about four hits with a standard laser before the shields go down, and obviously they'll recharge. Um, I need more power though. Okay, there they are. Next sector. Uh, Zoltan controlled or civilian sector? I'm going to go Zoltan. Basically, it's just a different race of aliens. Oh, a distress signal. Let's go help. Right, the beacon immediately detects a pirate ship. It seems the distress beacon was a trap. No. Surely not. Alright, so we're going to take a little bit off the evade because our shields are good enough to withstand most of what they have. I want to see how effective this laser is. Oh, they still managed to get a hit. That's annoying. Artemis, take out the weapons. Oh, wow. Really? Fantastic. So as you can see, we are holding out a lot better. It's just they have very powerful weapons. Uh, no, we're not accept surrender. You attacked us, therefore we must we must finish you off. Bob, go repair weapons, please. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Uh, and then we'll finish them off with attacking the shields. Bob, get back in to the engine bay. Fire. There we go, another pirate down. We're good at this pirate hunting business. Our hull is a bit damaged, so next time we see a shop, I'm gonna go round though. They were in the nebula. Uh, don't go in nebulas. They're 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 not good for your sensors, which I don't actually have very good sensors anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But still, you don't have the time to hail the salt ship that's waiting at the beacon before it jumps away. There was a beacon. Okay. Okay, I've kind of messed this up slightly because I'm going to have to rush to get to the store. Small rebel ship is docked at a small station. You try to lay low and it spots you. Power up weapons! Fire everything! Okay, so they, they're more focused on 
drone control. So I take out their shields and then I can get a hit on the drone control with the Artemis. I'm using a lot of missiles but I can buy more obviously. Um, attack the weapons and then attack the drone control again. Not because it's causing particularly much damage but it'd just be useful to not have it annoying me. No, we're not going to let them live. First laser on the uh, engine so they can't escape. And that's another pirate down. Okay, so Barry's doing a good job with shields. Which is really helping. Continue. Oh, I, th I think... I don't think I'm going to be able to get to that store. I think it's going to be in rebel control next turn. Which is really annoying because I need to repair my hull. Oh, flipping heck, another one. Boop. Boop. Fire. Fire, 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 fire. I'm really happy that we've got the shields upgraded already though because... Oh, it'd be more useful if the Artemis didn't keep missing. Because now I can give a bit more focus to weapons. Although I might just keep going with the shield to make sure that essentially I can't be damaged too much. I won't be able to do as much damage but I also won't die straight away. If that makes sense, it's kind of like the best defense is the best offense. You know, because if you focus on your weapons, you can do a lot of damage, but you'll also get destroyed very quickly. Which is why it's sometimes good to uh, put less focus on weapons and more on shields, so you can stay alive longer. Obviously. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Finish them off. Just gonna rebel ship down. Another missile collected. Oh no, I can't get to that store. We'll go to this one. Come across the pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fire will make it worth your while. Uh, that's quite now. Try and be a hero. Oh, fantastic. They've got a crew teleporter. Where is he? Okay, he seems to be winning though, so that's alright. Right. You attack the weapons, you attack the shields. Okay, they've, they've destroyed our weapons anyway. Bob, go help your fellow man. Okay, go fix... Go fix... Uh... Actually, I should have attacked the crew teleporter. Nah. Barry, get in there. Heal, heal, heal up. We've got zombies waiting. Artemis, attack the crew teleporter so they can't see anyone else. Obviously, and we're out of missile. Fantastic. Keep working on those. Keep working on the uh, the shields. Okay, fantastic. Cameras are down. Oh, it hit fifty percent. And we've got an intruder somewhere. Oh, he's at low health anyway. Oh, fantastic. These missiles are doing a lot of damage. Come on, five, 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 take him down. Yeah. I was going to say easy, but it really wasn't. Pirate explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap metal. You go to examine the ship you just saved. Okay, they repaired them. Thank you. Oh, wow, they repaired it quite a lot, actually. That was nice. Right, you go fix cameras. No, you. Okay, there's a, there's a breach in the hole. Got to repair that quickly. Right, send him to the medical bay while Bill and Bill and Ted, no Bill and Bob fix it. Right, you go back there. Bill, you go back to driving. Brum brum. Um Barry back to shields and Bob back to engines. I'm just thinking whether I can upgrade anything. I need a lot more power, so I'm going to... So I can have everything on at once, and now I've got plenty of room to upgrade things. So I'll get ready to jump to the next one. Because I am eventually wanting a few more weapons. 
A small shuttle appears at the local rate. Turns out to be a Red Bull automated scout. Fantastic. Just what we wanted right now. I might. I am tempted to sell the Artemis because, as you see, once I'm out of missiles, it's kind of it's kind of stuck. I'll stop having missiles, everyone. That was a good hit. Now they can't use their missiles. Those slaves on the shields. Stop missing. And they can't repair it because, as you can see, the pilot now can't get... It's automated anyway, but the pilot, even if it was a pilot, he couldn't get to weapons. So hopefully now they can't repair anything. So we can just slowly pick everything off. That's the disadvantage of having certain ship designs. It's a lot harder to get to things, so I can't like... This ship's quite useful because, as I've said, you can sort of set everyone like sectors. So this guy can repair everything here, this guy can repair things here, and the pilot can go wherever he needs. Whereas some ships, it's very difficult to move them around. Oh, okay, there's a missile in coming. And we've got a fire. Fantastic. Right. Everyone, go put out that fire. There are some aliens that are immune to fire, and there are some that are immune to that don't need oxygen and stuff like that. So it is really useful to have them. They'll heal up. Bill. Uh, Bob. Barry. The famous trio. We'll jump there. Hopefully, we can get a bit more scrap metal in case there's a weapon or anything. Attempt to mine the asteroids. I didn't even read that, I just saw uh, mine the asteroids. I was like, yup. Alright, we'll go to the store. Now I've got quite a lot of scrap metal. Oh, we can get crew. Um, or we can get a beam. Anti ship beam drone. Oh, I don't want drones. I'm trying to think what to do. I'm going to sell the Artemis, unfortunately. A mantis. Mantis disregard for individual lives led to their evolution as a vicious warrior race. So that's they're better at combat. Uh, our slugs are telepathic, which means I wouldn't have to put anything into. Yeah, let's get. Should we get another another crew member? Yeah, go on. Might as well. So, I think we can now basically turn off the power to the sensors. Can we? No, okay, they're still there. Um, uh, Trico can go in weapons. Slug can go in oxygen. I only have spent. Uh, people might think that's a stupid idea, but I like to have a lot of crew sort of doing everything. Oh, we're going to have to jump to the exit. I don't want to go into the nebulas, and I can't go back, so to the exit it is. <laughs> See a small station, fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are, and we don't care. This is the right place for some ship repair. Nope. Alright, we'll jump to one more, and then come back. Hopefully, it should be fine. Federation sympathizes. Contact. We know about your mission. Oh! Ah, oh, they sent me a drone. I can't use it, but they sent me it. That's nice. Um, screw so incoming missiles, asteroids, and flak debris. That might be quite useful, actually. Right, go to the exit before the rebels get there. And jump to the next sector. Rebel controlled, pirate controlled. Rebel, rebel pirate, uh, pirates. I'd rather fight pirates than rebels, to be honest. But actually, let's just look at the map. Okay, I'm going to end it here. This is going to be the end of the video. You're going to have to wait in anticipation to see if I return and show you what happens with the pirates. If I survive or if I'm horribly murdered within two turns. It's, it's going to, I'm going to be horribly murdered within two turns. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.